What's up guys, this is Alex Gilbert Hill, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to permanently preserve your iOS 5.0.1 until their jailbreak. Now, you wanna do this now, since what, um, currently Apple is still signing iOS 5.0.1 SHSH blobs, and so in the future if you up upgrade to a newer firmware, you will be able to downgrade with this custom firmware that I'm gonna be showing you how to create. So yeah, it is recommended to do it now, and so in this video I'm gonna be showing you how. Uh, so we'll need two programs, Tiny Umbrella and Red Snow. And first of all, we'll be opening Tiny Umbrella. And let just let it load quickly. And you want to make sure, first of all, that you have the latest version of Tiny Umbrella. And if you don't, download the uh, latest one. And then you want to plug in your device, go to Advanced, and make sure your options are the same as mine. So uh, those three boxes should be unchecked. And then uh, you decide where you want to save your... Um, SHC blobs, so I recommend the desktop since we're gonna be using it later. So then just select your device so that you can uh, save SHC blobs and just click on save SHC blobs. And in a minute, you'll see the um, your SHC blob popping up on your desktop as you can see right there. So for me, it saved the 5.1 beta 1 for some reason, but we're just interested in the 5.0.1. So now just exit out of Tiny Umbrella and just um, now we'll be opening up Red Snow. So just uh, open it up right there, and we will be going to extras, and also make sure that you have the latest version of Red Snow, and then go to SHCH blobs and stitch right there, and then we'll be selecting our device's uh, 5.0.1 firmware. So you do need that. So there is my iPod Touch 4G 5.0.1. Click open, and then down below we'll be selecting our SHCH blob that we created with. Uh, tiny umbrella so there is mine the 5.0.1 and click open and at this point it'll create your custom firmware it should take a while i fast forwarded that as you can see right there it'll say packing and um and now it should be about done and then it'll tell you well where it saved it uh i think it'll save it wherever you um picked up your uh, your ios 5.0.1 ipsw but so yeah at this point you're done guys and so that's how you preserve your ios 5.0.1 until their jailbreak and at this point you can downgrade uh to that firmware whenever you need to so yeah guys this is gonna be about it for this video hope it was helpful guys and if it was please give it a thumbs up comment down below guys and also follow me on twitter links will be down in the description and i guess that's it guys i'll catch you in the next video